Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, today is we are at the end of September. Here goes our third quarter. And I'm all about threes, right? And we've got three days to my event, and I am live at 12 noon, which two and one adds up to a three. So what are you doing that something seems to be consistent for you, or it's a repetition for you? If you don't know me, my name is Lisa Bubari. I'm your expert hypnotherapist and stress management consulting. Today, I wanna be frank with you. I have been getting ready for my event, getting ready for my talk, my speech, and uh, we're so busy putting everything together. And then yesterday, I realized when I got home, I just needed to just do nothing. And then I remembered my own um, recipe or what I tell my clients that doing nothing is doing something. So let me say that again. Doing nothing is doing something because when we come to, we are so busy with doing everything that it's in place, it becomes like a machine. Of course, we are not a machine. We are not like a manufacturing that the machine is putting the bottle, it's coming down, and then the Coke goes in, and the the bottle, the cap goes on top, and then the label goes on, and then it ships outside, which reminded me of this, as I was saying it, I'm all about guided imagery, right, and metaphors. It reminded me of this one scene with uh, Lucille Ball. If you have seen it, oh my God, it's this um, she and Harriet, they are in this manufacturing and they are all geared because they're standing over there and there's this bottles that is going and they have to check and see which one is wrong. And then as they are going, they're like, ha, ha, ha. They're Dan talking to each other and laughing. And then the machine, something goes wrong. And the machine, the, uh, the, um, <laughs> the, uh, where it's going through, all the bottles are going through, it starts speeding up. So they can't keep up and it gets to a point, they can't keep up and they're going nuts over it. And I believe this is what happens to us. When we feel overwhelmed, when we feel unappreciated, when we feel uh, stressed, anxious, it gets to a point that either we have to let it out or we suppress it. So talking to a very good friend of mine, we came up with she was like, do you do your daily journaling? And this is one of the things. I fell into the same thing as I preach to others. It's like when we are stressed, it's like instead of becoming more focused on our daily meditation, our daily tasks that calm us down, we go into this harried, stressed, anxious, blowing up mode, and wanting to force things to happen instead of flow becomes fear factor. And that's where I have been functioning in the last two days. And then this morning I got up and said, it's one thing I remember, the difference between gratitude and appreciation you know I'm all about words so if you are here with me just think about what are you grateful for in your life and yet 
What is it that you appreciate? And you realize that we are grateful for the things and the people in our life. It can be you are grateful for your family, you are grateful for your house, for your job, for the finances, for your money, for your car, for your community. You are always grateful for something outside of you. But when we talk about appreciation, it's really thinking, what do I appreciate? That means it's coming from the inside. What do you appreciate about you? What do others appreciate about you? Do you appreciate the fact that when you are stressed, you can manage it? Do you appreciate the fact that in times of turmoil, you see the bright light? Do you appreciate the way you have an outlook that it's different and not everybody is a follower. And you're not supposed to be a follower. I believe, I, I don't speak about it much, but every single day I believe in God, in higher power, in the universe, and I come from there. So when something happens, if you follow me, you will see my Facebook stories, I'm one with nature. And the words that I put over there, with the sun, with the sky, Father Earth, I mean, Father Sky, Mother Earth, the sun, the energy, because we are all that. So when we appreciate is what we see, what we feel, what we, which is you, what you see, what you feel, what you taste, what you can touch, what you can hear, it's about what's from the inside. So in a way, it is you connecting with you. So when you come to appreciate your gifts, your talents, your wisdom, um, and everything about yourself, even every step that you take every single day, no matter how far it is, just today, I got a call. It was a referral. And this person saw my name. Um, and they gave my phone number to the friend. So she called me and she said, we found your name through Asparis. And thank you to Asparis. And... Uh, She said, I can't afford the session, but I believe after reading your website, hearing you on YouTube, that you can help me. So after talking to her, she realized that she wants to give herself a chance to explore something she never has before. So as we're doing the consultation and she said that she is in this situation, even in the 10 minutes we were talking, it's how I helped her see something different about her, what she calls it disease. So she can take a look and do a timeline of where it started, how it started, and what she feels and what about her life she can appreciate today the things that she is doing even with the dis-ease in her body because the body reacts to what we think and what we feel right how many times has it happened that you are in duress and your heart is palpitating you're angry you're resentful and you feel that you are not being heard and all you can do is either you scream it or you keep saying listen to me when we say the words listen to me that means I feel I feel 
I am not heard. And because I feel I am not heard, I feel unappreciated. So it's the difference between gratitude and appreciation. It's so subtle. And when we turn it over, this like this gyro globe of energy and realizing the energy is in between the palm of your hand. And you can just play with that and say, what I feel, where I feel, this is why, this is when it happened, this is when it started. You can write this. And maybe you can even become the best therapist for yourself. And you don't need someone else. Because most of the things that I do is I help you guide and visualize and see internally what you cannot see visually from the outside. I hope this makes sense. So where does this ease come? It's something that it's not with ease. Appreciation. And I want you to write a column, sit back, and do a breath work. Breath work, which is giving yourself oxygen. And taking everything aside and saying, for the next five minutes, nothing matters. Five minutes. Give yourself five minutes only. You can sit in your car, you can sit, you can go to the bathroom, close the door, hopefully no one is opening the door to say mom or sister or honey, and just give yourself five minutes. And just sit there and say, I appreciate every aspect of my life. I appreciate the way I can think, what I feel. If I am anxious, say, I appreciate the fact that I am validating I am anxious. If you're angry, say, I am angry. I am upset. I am sad. I am in fear factor. Even if you are afraid of something, validate what you feel. You see, when we step away from ourselves and we give our power to somebody else that's exactly what happens we've already lost control of who we are what we feel what we think everything so other people's opinion other people's words what they say and what we believe that they are the masters in there becomes more important than what you know. In the flip, on the flip side, what is it that they say? The most successful people bank on their gifts and hire what they feel is their weakest link. So hire, yes. Give them power, no. And it's been and it can be the same thing as at home. At home, sometimes, you may be doing this to someone at home for your loved one, or someone who really loves you is doing it without really understanding that they are. And we become the most critical critics for those that we love and care for. And we think we are doing it because we want them to see the reality. And that's okay. We can take it and say, I am grateful to you, but allow me to go and give myself some time and appreciate myself. So two days ago, I went to get um, my pastry from my favorite place because I love my pastry. And uh, I saw the person, a uh, very good friend of mine, and we hugged and everything. And she was telling me how her life 
it's been difficult and I've known and I just said, how are you feeling? She's like, I can't wait until I have one day to myself. And I said, ah, she says, I know your event is coming and I want to be there. And I said, then you are coming. She said, you know what? I will. She got her tickets. She is coming. And then she called, messaged me actually, texted me and said, I'm giving myself a vacation a vacation and I'm not inviting anyone I'm not telling anyone I'm coming I'm just gonna show up for me I'm showing up for me that is not only grateful she says I'm grateful for what you're providing but I want to come there and show up for me and that's called the appreciation See, grateful from the outside, appreciation for what I want to do for me. So that's my question for you. What are you doing for you? Are you taking five minutes, me time for yourself? You can do this every single hour. You can time it and give yourself five minutes. Go for a walk and have a pastry. And I'll show you the way I eat. This is how I eat. <laughs> You're going to say, are you kidding? Yeah, I eat this way. I love my sweets. But how I eat is exactly how I also work with my clientele. When someone comes for, let's say, weight loss, right? It's the those who come to me is not the weight loss it's not the ones who go exercise and they know how to exercise five days a week or three days a week and they are pumping they're exercising they're doing everything even though when you come to me you're not the one who comes because you've all you're a fit as a fiddle and you do your diet and you eat everything but the person who contacted me today is what she feels is overwhelmed, overweight, unappreciated, undervalued, and she is diabetic. So what does that say? Sometimes it's the burdens we hold on to, the weight we hold on to, sometimes it's dead weight we carry, and we suffer because it's so heavy, and it can be the things what we believe other people say, we add it on, or it's we add on to stuff. Okay, so how I work is recognizing what you put on you, on you, emotionally, mentally, and yes, physically, and how we can peel away layer by layer the things that was placed upon you on your conscious and when you did it over and over over and over it became part of your subconscious mind as a clinical hypnotherapist I work with the root cause your subconscious mind so this is how I eat I've had this bar of chocolate for over two weeks and this bar of chocolate over two weeks I've shared, I've already shared half of my half. Half of my half I've shared. I give, I take this little piece, I eat, and I give a piece away. So unless I'm sharing, I'm not eating. And I love that. I love this give and take. I grew up with share and abundance. So I take a little piece and I eat it. And yet when I'm eating, as my mom says, the way you eat, it should be recorded. I savor the taste of this little bite so that I can taste it. This morning, I had, this weekend, I had bought a, a coffee and I made coffee Friday, and I made coffee Saturday that I was working. I made coffee yesterday and it got to a point and I'm like, I don't like the taste of this coffee. I can't drink the coffee and I'm a coffee drinker. So today I went and changed the coffee and I brought, 
I got the new coffee because that roast was not a good batch and I've already had two cups of coffee. It's realizing what you appreciate, your taste, what you feel is good for you. You keep and you peel away, let go of burdens and weight, sadness, heaviness, and everything you took upon yourself and you held it. Maybe because you didn't know you're holding it. Or maybe to help someone else feel good and it's not yours. I like to talk about this so you get to start thinking what are you holding on to? What is it that you can appreciate and say, all right, I appreciated this weight. Yeah, yeah, it was heavy. Yeah, it was resentful. Yeah, I kept it for a reason. You know what? I'm ready to let it go. And that becomes your decision. That is you standing up for yourself. That is you saying, I'm speaking up for me. And that becomes you appreciating you. You know why? Because you matter. You do. You matter as much as everybody else. Your voice matters. Your thoughts matter. Your feelings matter. Your existence matters. That's today's message. Be grateful and appreciate yourself more and who you are. And by all means, if this message resonated with you, please push subscribe, say yes, and help me share this information with others. And if you are anywhere in the Los Angeles area, show up. Show up and let's together stand up and make a difference as we speak together, unison. As an Armenian, there's only so much I can do. But together, as a community, as a nation, as a global voice, we stand up together and we become significant and it's not only as an Armenian or as an Iranian as an American it's called as a human being so hope I will see you at the 3e event happening in three days and if you haven't purchased your ticket by all means click DM me let me know you want to come and let's see what I can do for you and I look forward to seeing you. And until next week, appreciate yourself far more great and grandly and far more than ever before. Goodbye. See you next week. God bless you and may the universal light surround you at always. And if you like this, share it, subscribe, and go to YouTube, and you'll see the rest of all my podcasts.